Welcome back to Gamers Without Borders. Four matches into our charity event. We still have more to come. The upper bracket is set, so it is time for some last chance matches to close out this broadcast. We are now on the lower bracket, Cole. German Amigos and Monkeys. Who's going to buckle under the pressure? Well, German Amigos did fairly well against Oxygen Esports. I'd say a 3-1 loss is about par in this format for them right there. And Monkeys, they started off with a very difficult 3-2 loss. They were reverse swept, in fact, versus Monkeys, which hurts. But they managed to regroup, beat Fufax top 3-0. And now they find themselves here against German Amigos. So I think that on paper, German Amigos are probably favorites. But all things considered, maybe Monkeys had the momentum. Okay, Stumpy, German Amigos coming off the back of a loss against Oxygen Esports that we just saw in case your viewers are catching up. And then Monkeys off the back of a win against Fufax Stop. This one's a mental game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, above all else, this is who can hold their nerve, who's got the experience, you know, and who do you feel it leans towards? I feel like it's, it's, it's a mental game on the pitch, but also off when you look at what the stakes are for this series. You win, and you then go through to the LAN. Like, you then you are then in top four. I hope that the players try to get out their mind and do that whole compartmentalization thing that they seem to all do and say, we didn't even think about the implications of this series. We just played it. We just tried to win. German Amigos and Monkeys, though, I think coming off that loss isn't going to hit German Amigos too hard, considering that they played well and they weren't the favourites to win it. Monkeys, bear in mind that they were reverse swept earlier by G1. That is still, I think, going to be lingering in their minds. And I think German Amigos generally are the stronger team. The only worry, I think, would be for the 1v1s, where Razir outperforms anybody on um, German Amigos, as far as I can tell. Oh, fair point. I think that, speaking of confidence and momentum, Cole, German Amigos... That entrance into Games Without Borders, that first game, that 3-0 against BDS, that's got to count for something. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Team BDS are a wounded animal, but they're still the sort of team that if you beat, it puts a feather in your cap. Mm. It gives you some belief going through. If we can beat them, we can beat anyone because BDS do still have, again, at least on paper, that ability to, to destroy pretty much anyone in the world right now. Uh, well, not right now, but in theory, right? Um, so yeah, German Amigos will be not so much riding high on that because they then lost to Oxygen. But I think, yeah, I, I think German Amigos, as Stumpy mentioned, their biggest worry will be the 1v1. If they can bank the 2v2, I mm -hmm. put them as favourites. I mean, between the both of you, Stumpy and Cole, do you feel, well, not do you feel, sorry, are there any history? Is there any history between these two teams going into this match? The, you know, players who have played with each other before, against each other, do we have any kind of history that's Ooh. building up between the two of them? That's kind of an on-the-spot question. That's why I'm trying to fill time for you, because I feel kind of bad asking that. I one. immediately looked like, at the oh. Google Doc that we've all created. <laughs> um, I think not. <laughs> As far as I know, there isn't. Just generally, as far as I know, there isn't. There would have been a little bit of crossover um, with them just at various events when they play in regionals and such. But as far as I know, they've not teamed with each other in any notable way. There's no like, team-based rivalries. No one's been um, sacked off by the other. And this is now that big redemption arc. We, we could make something up if you want. Maybe uh, German <laughs> oh, Amigos coach Verge <laughs> and Monkeys coach Anna the Mandy. Maybe they once had a really intense game of Uno and they, they never talk to each other now. Other card games are available, they're just not as fun. Other card <laughs> games are as far available. Right, I'll come to you both for scoreline prediction, please. Cole, let's start with you. Scoreline prediction. I'm going to go with German Amigos 3, Monkeys 2, all the way to the Ooh. dying embers, this one. The distance. I like that. It'd be good to see one. What about yourself, Stumpy? 3-1 and Monkeys win the 1v1. That's the only one that they get. German Amigos take it. Okay, we've had our say here. Dazarin and Corelli waiting in the wings, eagerly anticipating this next best of three. Let's dive in to our lower bracket. Thank you very much, Banks. We've got a huge matchup here with German Amigos and Monkeys here in the lower bracket quarterfinals. And you heard the desk talk about it, Daz. I want to hear what you have to say about the matchup. Monkeys, German Amigos. This is really interesting because we saw Monkeys earlier today, almost won a five game series against G1. We saw German Amigos take down BDS. And these are teams that going into today, I did not really rate that highly. Seeing them in an elimination match, but also a qualification match is something that I think is super interesting to kind of keep tabs on. Uh, but I think that both teams have earned it. You know, they've showed up, they've tested teams at the top, and they've seen success while also showing a little bit of signs of failure. It's really going to be about who's the best between these two going up head to head. Yeah, and I, it will have to jump in to game one here in the 3v3. It'll be interesting to see the picks for 2v2 and 1v1 if we get that far for both of those modes. But for now, 
We have to start with the 3v3 matchup, and German Amigos, like the Death said before, they've taken down BDS in 3-0 fashion. It was one goal games across the board there, but they're able to get the job done, and then dropping three games to Oxygen is why they're here in these lo the lower bracket at this point. Monkeys, on the other hand, they had a pretty tough run, Daz. I mean, they had that. Yeah. They were reverse swept by G1. That's probably the most notable thing so far. And, I mean, that's such a painful thing to give up. And hopefully they can regain. And Raziers puts one off the crossbar. Ooh. The follow-up's then from Smokes, and it will go through in the end. But Raziers putting a dent there at the top bar. Absolutely love this here from Smokes. Sees talks with the clear, reads it, challenges well. He has to take some type of control of the chaos and being aggressive, especially when you know you got a man behind you, is the best way to do that. So what a lead here for Monkeys. Quality start for them. It's this one sitting in front of the box. Catalyst. Looking for options. Flip reset is the option, and he'll take it all the way home. 1-1 one, one from Catalyst's flip reset. You said it. Looking for options. <laughs> Let me hit you with this flip. Let's see what you can do. Smokes didn't have the read. Thought he was going to go lower than that. Catalyst surprised him. And guess what? German Amigos back in the driver's seat. Two goals within the first minute. Well, well. Just when you thought Catalyst ran out of steam there behind the ball. He pulls out a flip reset the last second, catches the defense off. Now Batane with a pinch shot. Wow. Went just a bit high. Keep an eye out on Matane here as well. I mean, you talked about the game five. If you watch that game five, one of the reasons why they lost, Matane went up for an aerial complete whiff. Was on Twitter talking about it. Just felt really upset. If he could have a return, especially in this game, where his team needed him most, that says a lot more than just being able to bounce back off of a mistake that led to a loss like that. Surely some confidence regained after taking down Fufak's stop. But now they go up against the big boys of German Amigos. Definitely not an easy team to beat down, especially in the 3v3. They've been quite stingy in Europe. Always hovering around that top eight, top six, sometimes even top four area. Patain from his own back wall. Here's Catalyst. Looking for another touch. He's very slow behind it, but he gets the defense to think. Backflip from Ivan, but he still holds control. Talks trying to get the bump on Matane, doesn't connect. As German Amigos holding the pressure here, but not threatening quite yet. As this one finally is cleared away by Monkeys. And the quick counterattack, here it comes. Into the bottom right corner, Matane, 2-1 Monkeys. There you go, Matane. That's what you want to see out of him. I mean, it's a great pass off from Razier. Switching the lanes, going across. Matane has to get there before Tox and does. Slots into that lower right corner, and Monkey's back in the lead. Just before halftime, and Monkey's out in front. Here's German Amigos trying to find their third footing after giving up that goal. Tox and Ivan can't get through Matane. Now Catalyst has to buy some time. Dodged a demo and is able to get up and clear this one away, but only as far as Razier's. Razier's looking for options. Passes this one across, and German Amigos there to eat it up. On their own side, undisturbed for now. Quality challenge, and Catalyst slowly playing this one out. Still, German Amigos very calmly navigating the pressure here from Monkeys. Here comes Razier's, shot down and denied once again. Watch out, Ivan's trying to push things forward, trying to set up German Amigos. They have that consistency that can be dangerous at times. In a game that can get super chaotic, they can remain composed. They're gonna need that composure now, especially with the time ticking down. They've been even managing the ball really well while it's on their own half. They played it from one side to the other, got it upfield. They need to continue to add on to that pressure and keep that position that they worked so hard to get. Here's Tox, see what he can do. We talk about pressure, and right now it's been pretty even. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This one going the wrong way. Catalyst has to bail him out. And a quality pinch down the sideline. Yeah, get good. out for his team. A really great recovery there. And now the demo from a tank. He put this one on target. He puts it high. It was wide open for him. If he was able to put it on target, a free goal. Still Monkeys hold their lead, but only for maybe a moment here as German Amigos trying to get a hold of this one as players demoed left and right. 
45 seconds left. Monkeys holding on to their one goal lead. All right, German Amigos, let's see what you can do. Where's that push forward? Ivan trying to get a bump out on Matane. Forces the ball in the air. Catalyst drop down. He's a shot. It's blocked away. Great read on Smokes, but not done yet. 30 seconds to go. Chance here for German Amigos to get themselves back into the game. They've got to look at the length of the field. How much boost do they have? They're all trying to work together. Ivan with that pop-up. Forcing Razier to take this lightly. Ivan's going to go for the aggressive challenge, but no one there to follow up. They're all playing on the sidewall. Final 10 seconds. Catalyst looking for the 50 oh low. Confusion in front of the orange net. Tox got a flip, but Smokes got to the ball first. Three, two, one, and gets away, and Monkey survive in game one. And they certainly survived there at the last second. That one just above the crossbar. It was pinned there. Monkeys come out on top here in the 3v3. So you look to German Amigos to see what they will provide us in the next game. Is it a 1v1 or a 2v2? As we'll find that out and when we get into game two. Monkeys, though, quality win here for the 3v3. And it's so... I think important for a team to win game one, especially because it's 3v3. It's the one that these teams were built for uh, in most regards. So to come out on top of the first game, it just gives you a plethora of options going forward, especially uh, into late into a series. You just have that one game advantage already. Yeah, this is, this is going to be really really tough here too. I mean, we all know how well Razier's is in the ones department. Unless we're looking at German Amigos just trying to play for the reverse sweep. They could go out for the game two, but even then, you're still going to have to go, or the twos in game two, I'm sorry. They're still gonna have to go into that one-on-one -one department if they even win the next two straight. So whether they're doing it later, getting momentum now would be, or getting them, giving them the ones and then getting momentum now would be huge, but it really does all depend. Yes, I am counting them out of the 1v1 if they choose to go for it, but this is going to be 2v2 here. Ivan and Tox against Raziers and Smokes getting ready to kick off. Yep. And I think a uh, decent choice here for German Amigos. So I'm sure they feel confident, more confident in the twos than the ones with Raziers on the other side. As Ivan will put the first one away as he just walks it in off the challenge. It's a 1 0 lead for German Amigos. Wow, Ivan playing it low. Great 50 in front. Baited Raziers out and pinches it in. German Amigos with that one goal start. Can they build upon it? Great start for German Amigos and exactly why they would want to pick this one, this game mode. It's a quality challenge for Raziers and the pop. Unfortunately, Smokes. Not expecting all that to happen. Here's Tox. Great touch from Tox, but can't beat it over Raziers. Raziers very quickly. Smokes in a tough position here as this one goes off the post. Oh, whoa. And almost there for German Amigos. As Monkey's happy to see this one go out. Now Raziers popping this one high. Ivan got to come up big here, and he does. And he forces Smokes all the way back. Now Ivan taking a quick shot. And the defense undisturbed here from Monkeys as German Amigo is just putting it high and away. Ivan up to take the boost and go back. Tox looking for the misread on the play. Almost actually got it through. Here's Ivan with the ball pressure, but will be pinched over to the blue half. German Amigos kind of playing a safer game. That one forces a oh stretch. My. Oh, pinched off the bar and out. What a save. Couple of saves now off the post from both sides. Tight margins between these two teams. Ooh, and a tough touch there from Ivan. 3.30 on the clock, German Amigos. Looking to nurture this 1-0 lead and hopefully grow it. It's Tox denied by Raziers. Here comes Ivan again, picks it away. Follow up from Tox, surely putting this one on oh. target. And he flubs it in front of the box. He had the open net and Monkeys get away with another one. That one, that one was open. Tox is missing that, just moving too far forward on that one. Didn't get the right read on the ball and it's still a one goal game. So German Migo is still in control. Monkeys do have the force the issue, but you just wish you could have that extra cushion. Smokes. Smokes. Oh, his third or fourth air dribble here and he just can't get over the defense. Not threatening enough. What a dunk here from Raziers. German Amigo still holding on as Monkeys. They've been threatening here, but not super lethal. 
Smokes. Over to Razier's. Passing play is coming out from Monkeys. Trying to set something up. And again, German Amigos not having put up much here. Ivan can't get over Razier's. Now it's just Tox against Smoke. Smoke's going off the sidewall, looking for more. Another touch on target, but Tox is quick to it as Monkey's trying to set up here. Great cut by Razier's. Can he finish off the last man? Into the corner there, and Ivan makes a great save. As again, German Amigos defensively coming up big. Yeah, another save off the post as well. Two minutes to go. And even though Monkeys are doing their best efforts to push the pressure on German Amigos, they've been ready to match it at every moment. So Razier's trying to get that pre-jump in, and Ivan said, I'll just continue to play this low. I have no reason to play very aggressive towards you. Oh, oh but that's a good pop. Not enough, though. Smokes has possession. 1v1 versus Ivan. Ivan parks the bus in the midfield and gets that boost spawn. What's he going to do now? Off the ceiling. Has a flip. Has two. Gets the buff, but it's not enough for Tox to commit. Minute and a half left on the clock. Monkeys looking for anything at this point. It's time slowly becoming a factor here in game two. Reminder, German Amigos picked this one. They felt more confident than in a 1v1, and I think that makes a lot of sense now seeing this gameplay. They've been locking down Monkeys despite maybe just a one goal margin. Here's Razier's. This one coming out to Smokes, but the defense from German Amigos read it all the way. Here comes Smokes again. Can he put something together that can find the back of the net? And again, straight to the defense, Tox. There to play it off the back wall, and German Amigos looking for a way out here. 50 seconds left on the clock. Monkeys looking for a way in, though. Oh, got the shot. No follow-up from Raziers. He's going to opt to take this, but gets demoed. See you later. 40 seconds to go, and Smokes has to play this properly. Doesn't want to give a strong clear out to German Amigos, but it is going to happen regardless. Razierzo with the solo. Not a lot of boost to work with. Has the flip over one, but again, just not enough. Big clear downfield from Ivan, killing more time off the clock. 20 seconds left. Monkeys have to put something together here. It's held scoreless here in game two in this 2v2. And German Amigos happy to run out the clock. Smoke's trying to take this quick challenge, but Ivan pokes it free, takes another challenge into the corner. Time ticking away. Into zero second time we go. It's up to Raziers. Can he get there first? He's not going to get there. Tox to the back wall. Smoke somehow gets back to it. And up the sidewall he goes. No boost to his name. Oh, no. It's up to Raziers. And he's oh. got no boost. Nothing to do with it. German Amigos take back a game. Great response from German Amigos. It was a one goal game and it was definitely kind of close as monkeys towards the end of it had a lot of decent opportunities had pressure but they just could not get through the german amigos defense after the first goal it was really all she wrote on this game and it was really just ivan with a great low 50. <laughs> that's all german amigos needed the rest of it was just a defensive masterclass as they had stop after stop after stop against monkeys and a lot of close calls here you're seeing in the replay you're seeing a ton of shots off the posts, saves off the posts, goal line saves from the defense. So it wasn't yeah. like German Amigos just cruised to a victory here. They were under pressure, under fire from Monkeys for a lot of this game. But some yeah. great saves came out and, and kept them in this, and, and they held their one goal lead. And it's also not even to say that they sat in their net the entire game either. There right. was definitely some offensive opportunities, and they tested Monkey's defense as well. That was probably one of the larger reasons, too, of they, for them to have the win. Being able to keep Monkey's into their own half and out-pressure them, they're playing a very smart and a very consistent game of Rocket League, like we know that they can do. And for Monkey's, the biggest challenge is trying to break that apart. So we go back to a 3v3. And we'll see here. German Amigos, they're able to get a game back. Let's see if they can get one in 3v3 here as Monkeys were able to best them in the previous matchup in game one. German Amigos. Oh, this is dicey for Ivan. He gets bumped off. Matane barreling through. As you really look towards Monkeys to, to be the aggressor, I think... In a lot of cases, German Amigos are happy to be defensive. They've, that's kind of been their calling as a team. And you saw it there in the 2v2. The play style worked out perfectly. In 3v3, you're going to see Monkeys put on the pressure. And it really is up to the German Amigos defense. It's been rock solid for them throughout their tenure. But yeah, this Monkey squad, they, they are certainly 
aggressive and they can break you down. That's exactly what they're looking to do here too. You're starting to see the rotation from them. You have someone Razier's downfield, Smokes trying to get win those midfield challenges. And they have really solid control of even where the boost is right now. German Amigos trying to get boosted up while Monkeys have all the possession and now they just have to play it past them. But this is great. We have Razier's pu pulling two people out of defense. Usually it can yield results. There's the shot. Bang! Matane's there to start it off. And one for Monkeys. As this one came out from the corner, you can see Ivan really panicking there. He went to the corner, realized he couldn't get there, then raced back to the net. And to his credit, he got back in time, but you can't make the save on that shot. And a 1-0 lead here for Monkeys. But I mean, you could see the play develop. Even from before where you saw Raziers on the ball, you knew, okay, they've got the boost. They're able to keep them it back because they have to stay boosted up. Who do we have leading the ball? Raziers. Can get, he get it past two in the air. Then you have the defense in just a tough spot. Monkeys, instead of just having the next man up, take the shot, opts to get the pass. That's great team play and great oh communication. And another goal. This time it smokes. Make it a splash. Happened? What happened here on the defense? Because this one came across the net. Tox just holding the near post, and it was just perfectly placed. You got to give credit to Smokes. Perfectly placed there. And Tox on the near post just wasn't oh, yeah. able to get back to the back post there on the shot. Smokes slotted that. Simple and clear. Put it straight to the top right corner. Enough power where Tox can get to it. And they're going for more. You see Matane. Oh, my goodness. If he gets that one, just amount of control and momentum that Monkeys are going to get. Could have... Then something that would have led to even more goal scoring opportunities, but they have so much pressure right now. And this is a scary situation for German Amigos. Not only are they going to, uh, they are currently losing this game and might possibly lose this game. It would mean that they would go into, they're forced to pick the 1v1. And you would assume that Monkeys have the advantage there with Razier's in their pocket. So this is a disaster situation. It almost feels like a must win for German Amigos. Otherwise you're going up into a matchup that you're not, that you don't have the advantage in. And that's a scary proposition in a series like this. Yeah, it is. Especially kind of considering, you know, that once comes up next. And you know, Razier's individual ability makes things a lot challenging for German Amigos. Still though, they've seemed to be kind of up to the task for the most part. It just feels like Monkey's offense is just a step above right now. Razier's on the ball, plays this towards the corner, pitches across. Matane will be next up. Keeps this in for Monkeys. Great pressure here. Smokes now on top of the ball. You see Razier start to creep up. Won't be able to go for this. You see everybody in German Migos in on that corner, though. It works out for him only for a moment as Monkeys trying to fully press the attack. Minute and a half left, and Monkeys are unrelenting here in game three. Here's the shot from Ivan. It's denied instantly. From Smokes, they'll get the demo and some space here for Razier's. Monkeys trying to cruise to a victory here in game three. It's been very comfortable for them. They've just been the aggressors the entire time and German Amigos do not have the offense to respond. No, they don't. Oh my God, the pre-jump from Matane. And then Razier's also going for it. They're in super aggressive. Chance here for a counterattack for German Amigos. Denied though, instantly. That's a strong clearance. A minute remaining. You see the boom come out. Great second touch. Who's going to get there for the follow-up? It's Tox. Just does get a piece of it, but Smoke still can stay on this ball. Flip reset pass Ivan. Tried to get another one, but Catalyst and the rest of German Amigos trying to push the issue, force the issue. It's just not enough because one player can get past two of your teammates. Now under 40 seconds and a shot on target. And... Big save coming out from Matane. Another pass. Surely, this is the one denied again by the defense. Monkeys. They can do no wrong defensively. They have denied German Migos time after time. And speaking of time, it's dwindling here for German Migos. A shot. That's a it. dagger here for Monkeys. 3 0 in game three. German Amigos hit their best shot. And in response. We got that. That should be enough here to finish this game at three. From the defensive stop to the pinch counterattack downfield, Monkeys are looking to submit this game and in a strong fashion, a shutout game three performance. Wow. And we're on match point.
match point. And like we were discussing earlier, Daz, you go in now to a 1v1. And Monkeys will put out Razier's. And German Amigos have got to find a response to that. He's been immaculate in the 1v1 scene, uh, Razier's has, and a very scary player to have to go up against, especially <laughs> here on match point. Need I remind you, in the lower bracket, one of these teams is going home, and right now, German Amigos in some trouble. Yeah, definitely in some trouble. Uh, you know, you come off that game, not being able to score a goal is always going to be disheartening. And then having to play here and only being able to send one person out into a tough situation where your tournament life is on the line, they're really going to need to dig deep. Meanwhile, Monkeys, that aggressiveness is paying off big time. They're not giving up anything for free here against German Amigos. They've been pushing the issue, forcing German Amigos to step up. And now they just need one more game to move on. And it's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. It's it's the perfect time to have this 1v1 matchup. And, and you can't blame German Amigos. They wanted to get the win that they felt like they could get in 2v2. But they've left what is a match point here in the 1v1 for Raziers to possibly close it out for Monkeys. German Amigos, they've sent out Catalysm. See if he can put up a fight here against Raziers. It's a tough ask. Is Raziers going to knock in the first? Raziers already with the quick start off. Nice control initially on the ball. Catches Catalysm on the reverse. Put a tough shot or a tough shot to save up. And Catalysm did get the save, but just straight back to Raziers. That high pressure working out. As he starts things off again, Catalysm really is going to have to watch, you know, just where Raziers is going and also where he's positioned as well. You see another aggressive challenge here, but Raziers has time and space. Knows Catalysm isn't behind him. Sees him go for that individual challenge and then just has to rush back. It's going to be very, very long here for Catalysm. Playing his own countryman. The German matchup as Raziers trying to turn this one around. You see he's happy just to control. And I think for Raziers, he's got to feel quite confident. I don't really feel like you put a lot of pressure. You know, we talked a lot on, on the desk about, you know, maybe trying to re relieve pressure from your 1v1 player going into a game five or a match point situation. But Raziers knows at least if he does lose this matchup, it's not over. Right. Just go to a game five. But even then, he's got to just feel confident in the matchup in general. It's been so great in the 1v1 Ooh. as he has to make a big save off his own post. That was close. Now chance here. He's going to stay on top of the ball. Gets this one. Light touch. Just trying to force Catalysm into an awkward position. Catalysm has been holding his own here quite well. But that might be a big beat. I think Razier is going to be able. Yeah, he's going to take control of that. Whoa, whoa. The, what? No way. Yeah, stop. No way he doesn't score that. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He got stopped right. by the last man, and it was the wall. <laughs> the post just said, not today, man. I'm sorry. You got to put, put in a little bit more work. I'm not sure I've seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it just pinches in, but that one, he said, I don't feel like it today. <laughs> uh, that was a different type of stop right there. I'm scared of that post. Yeah, normally that one at least just pinches away or something, but nonetheless, Razier is still comfortable here. As Ooh. Catalysm racing back, you're already halfway through this game. And I think Razier's is fine sitting on a one goal lead. Catalysm hasn't really put out too dangerous of an attempt, but here comes the bump Ooh. attempt and a great dodge by Razier's to get away from that one. Catalysm on 15, does Razier's no? Tries for the high flick, got him! Top right corner, caught Catalysm and made a punish. Great flick here from Razier's, you just give him space. He's able to capitalize on this with Catalysm. He was close. He was close on the touch. A two goal lead now. That margin widens here for Raziers. And you got to give credit. Halfway through this game, Catalysm, he's kept it close. You really feel like he needs to get one soon. Otherwise, Raziers is just going to take over and close one out. Ooh, awkward type of flip reset here. Raziers, all the confidence in the world. We'll have this with boost. 
Catalyst has to go all the way back. Let's see what Razirus is cooking up. Has a flip. Uses it. Catalyst, what a, a great chance. read. Could turn this all the way around. Just has to get this right on target. And he will. And that he has to score that one. So crucial for Catalyst. It's a low scoring affair here in this 1v1. And you have to take what you're given. And Catalyst gets a freebie there. Razirus finally went high, went up into the air, and he gave it up instantly. I don't think you're going to see that from Razirus again. He's been playing a very controlled matchup here against Catalyst. Not overextending. He knows the importance of this matchup, even if he knows he's favored in it. And now maybe a kickoff. Got him. He got away from it, got the boost and everything, and a 3-1 lead now for Razirus. Look at that. Razirus just reading the options. He got the wave dash said, okay, Catalyst, you're going to make a wide turn. I can get to the ball before you, and I can get enough power on it to punish you trying to go for that boost over mine or over ball. Now, Razier's back into a two-goal lead with a minute 45 to go. Just, again, keeping that cushion. You said it yourself. He was going to play a lot safer game, and this time he attacked in a different way. Instead of in, just going for the air, just waiting to see Catalyst and put himself in a bad position. Yeah, and excuse me, he didn't even get the boost there. But Catalyst, going to flick this one up and over. And just like that, he's still within one. He's not going to go down easy, Daz. Yeah, this one, very solid. Razier's ambitious challenge. We knew he was low boost, but maybe he thought Catalyst also knew and would try to just attack early. So instead of waiting that out, just trying to see if maybe he can get a mistake out of Catalyst. Now back to a one-goal game. Favorable kickoff here for Razier's. And did pick up that boost, yep. so he's going to secure the goal. Kickoff. Crucial there for Razier's. It allowed him to follow up, and he just got that boost before Catalyst did. And an easy tap in this time. No post to get in his way. 4-2 for Razier's, but still plenty of time for Catalyst. He needs this kickoff to go well, or at least not be a disaster and give up a kickoff goal, as he, it does go fantastically. But at least keep this one in play. Now can he get this one across? Razier's. Catalyst trying to get up and over, but Razier's quick on the recovery. And here he comes back the other way as Catalyst quickly to get back. Catalyst has to be careful to show no signs of desperation here. Remaining poised and controlled. Razier's would be able to tell. The Catalyst could, again, make a mistake. He's been playing this game very close overall. He let that last goal get away from him. But not out of the running just yet. Just needs a goal and a, a kickoff, honestly. But if he, again, just tries to force an issue too hard, it could lead to another chance for Razier's. He's almost trying to push that one in. This chance. may be a chance. Catalyst only has six boosts, so he's oh. not going to be able to get back in time. It's all Razier's on the ball. Razier's gave him just a small window and now closes the door. 5-2, and Razier's just a minor mistake there. He was able to recover, and he turns it into a goal. And that's what I mean. When you play against someone like Razier's at level, of one's knowledge he's going to be able to see exactly okay i know he has a little boost i have control of the ball let's play it where he's not and where he can't go as well another kickoff another goal as razier's is looking to send monkeys through and he has this was a comfortable matchup we talked about it so much we knew razier's was going to be huge in the 1v1 and with it being left to a match point situation Surely feeling so confident here. And, and it, you got to give Catalyst some credit. He kept it close early on. It was a one goal margin for the majority of this game. He get, and gets another one back here. But I think Razier has just has built up too much of a lead. Yeah, I'd be really surprised to see Razier drop this. The way Catalyst uh, has been kind of working through this game has been very solid overall. But Razier just has that extra knowledge and has been in these high-pressure situations before. You know, you knew that going into this, it's an elimination match. And German and Amigos, they tried to see if they could get back in with the 2v2. But we all knew this was inevitable. Having that 1v1 here and Monkeys relying on this man who has proven himself plenty of times in the ones environment. And Razier is just showing why he is so good. Seven to three, 10 seconds left. It's just, the rest of this is a formality at this point. He, he wants to go back. And Monkeys are surely going back to Gamers 8. What a performance here from Razier's. He's done it again. The closer from Monkeys has come out. And boy, did he close it out. Razier's taking down Catalyst. Monkeys taking down German Amigos. So they move on. They qualify for Gamers 8. 
and well done for monkeys here too i mean every mode you know they did their best to kind of step up in even in the twos it was a one goal game they had a lot of pressure but 3v3s 1v1s i mean it just felt like they had the recipe here in this particular matchup came down to you know the wire in some of some of these games very close but overall they relied on their strengths they kept their confidence up and they played just oh, very good rock league here the speed from them was something that german amigos could not handle and of course their ability to rely on each other offensively too i uh, i think monkeys they definitely deserve to you know a trip to gamers eight yeah and well managed here from monkeys i mean throughout our discussion about this team against german amigos you got the aggressive nature of monkeys and the defensive nature of german amigos and you could really see the aggressor one here today and then that control here in this final game from razier is really the icing on the cake and you know monkeys they could do some damage here uh in gamers eight they, they are not some slouch of a team clearly they've made it to the semi-final and they've qualified and i think they have a, a decent team composition here 3v3s are going to be a little bit more scary especially when they play up against teams that are matching that aggression but i still think monkeys they're formidable in this european qualifier and they will be at gamers eight yeah and we'll end up having to see what they can do on that main stage but i think that this is a sign of good things to come so being able to see what monkeys have been able to show us and even show some of the top teams in europe you know you talk about that series from g1 the bounce back from Matane over the course of the day as an individual as well as of course the rest of the team stepping up into their own roles as needed to be monkeys are definitely a formidable opponent yep and we'll see how they do at Gamers 8. I think for German Amigos, this was a, a kind of a devastating loss. They tried to get back into the series by taking that 2v2. Um, and I think it was the right call, but at the same time, you leave that 1v1 and that opportunity. It just, the, the plan fell apart for German mm. Amigos in the end. And I think that's really what came back to bite them. And, and listen, Daz, they had a decent run, right? They took down yeah. BBS. Uh, and losing to Oxygen isn't really a, a bad loss here. So for them to go down to Monkeys, though, is a bit devastating. And I think maybe an underperformance for them in the end. Yep. That being said, though, Monkeys move on. German Amigos are out. And Banks is big Banks. Let's send it back to the desk to hear his thoughts. Banks is big banks. Thank you very much, Dazarin and Corelli. Another series down, another win in the books for Monkeys. Cole, you and Stumpy both said German Amigos. At this point, is our predictions, are our predictions just redundant? I mean, we're, we're basing <laughs> this Crew Battles tournament on 3v3, which is where you get the problems. Mm -hmm. You have the, the sort of the 1v1 data, which you can normally predict who's going to win the 1v1s, where we said Razias would, and he did fairly comfortably as well. Uh, but the 3v3s is where Monkeys really impressed me, Stumpy, because I thought that German Amigos would pip them in those threes, but they look very solid. I mean, literally starting out the series, we saw Monkeys take that first one, 2-1, and then it was, it was actually the 2v2, the game that we barely mentioned, that ended up going the favor of German Amigos. So fair play to Ivan and Tox, who have been um, working on that. Evidently, they did a fantastic job. And in the end, it came down to Quite frankly, one of the most nerve-wracking 1v1s I imagine Razier's has ever played. You've got your entire team watching you, you win that, and you go to the LAN of a $2 million <laughs> tournament. And if you don't, then you go to a game five where suddenly everyone's on edge. That is unreal nerves. That is fantastically um, well played from him. And Mitain tweeted earlier too, saying, we made Riyadh Razier's is the GOAT, let's go. Well, so I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that he is getting that love from his team too. Razier sort of is the GOAT of Gamers 8. He was excellent last season for Heat. You know, I remember him doing 2v2s and just styling on everybody who he came up against and did well in the 1v1s as well. So Razier certainly has this game mode in his back pocket. I think he likes, well, I mean, as I'm complimenting him, that <laughs> moment comes up. I mean, to be fair, you're talking about pressure. Missing that, missing mm -hmm. an open goal, and I can confirm Twitch chat were laughing at him, and he would have <laughs> no! known that as well. That suddenly ramps it all up, and then what do you do? You get a bullet flick, put yourself uh, tunnel up. That also shows just the determination of 1v1 players think a little bit differently, where um, we were seeing uh, Catalyst and play. He did a good job. It was not yeah. too bad, but he was still not playing how a 1v1 player should be playing once. So massive congratulations to Monkeys for making it to that lower bracket semi-final. They will be in our top four going to Saudi Arabia in August. An unreal uh, level of play from them. 
those highlights brought to you by Aramco. And Monkey's just living in that lower bracket right now. From the offset from today after a tough loss, they've turned it around. I love that mental strength and fortitude and, you know, experience going in the back pocket for them, Cole. Yeah, me too. It's going to take them and it's going to serve them well when they are in Riyadh. It's going to be absolutely huge. You know, dealing with bad moments, dealing with bad misses, dealing with tough victories and, 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 and close matchups is going to be great. Also in the, the made up drama that we had before of uh, Coach Verge and Coach Anna the Mandy and their intense game of Uno. Andy the Mandy gets the last laugh. Take that, Coach Verge. No more Uno for you, mate. No more Uno for you. Individual performances, of course, as well, paying dividends in crew battle format. So we're going to take a quick look at the updated bracket on your screen. Uh, currently in that lower bracket, as we, as we sit there right now, the German Amigos have been sent home alongside BDS and Foo Fax Dop. An unfortunate situation for them, not qualifying for Gamers 8. However, we've got Monkeys going through and this is what we're going to find out after the break we're going to find out who is going to go through from g1 and so it's going to be interesting isn't it i think mm. it could be another close one cole yes it's going to be an extremely close one i think that g1 are going to take it um but it's it's going to be close also can i just point out before we move on that earlier on when the camera was facing the other way at eubanks it looked like the german amigo's hat it looked like you were wearing it so i'm looking for I've been, I've been you know you know like the dvd thing when you're waiting for it to go in the top corner yeah. i've been waiting for the hat to be directly over you this whole time so keep an eye out for that everybody don't encourage them they're going to do that now with this look it's slowly swinging across it's slowly it making oh, 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 duck into the hat duck into the hat go oh. on I need the tash as well. I need there the tash. He is, there hey, he is. It's hat nice. <laughs> Well, thank you so much to both of you, Cole and Stumpy. We're going to be seeing more of you in tomorrow's broadcast. Broadcast. I'm really excited for that. And now it is time to say goodbye to you. But we have our sixth and final series coming up after this very short break. So don't go anywhere.